Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome back to another Red Dead video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a very awesome method that you can use to very quickly rank up your collector's role and fill all of your collections. Now the collector's rank is definitely one of the slower ones to rank up in the game and especially until you get level 5, it's a bit of a grind. Once you get level 5, you can unlock the metal detector and things get a bit quicker, but this is still a very great method that you guys can use to fill your collections and level up very quickly. So to use this method you will require some friends or to be a part of a posse to help you with this one. Now if you are a solo player there are some methods you can use very easily to get matched up with other players. The first thing you can do is leave a comment on this YouTube video, let me know your platform and also your gamer tag down there and you can match up with other people down in the comments that are also looking for people to play with. And the second thing you can do is join my Discord server. I'll have a link down there in the description where you guys can head over to my Discord and find other people to play with. I quite often, when I'm doing collector's hunts or bounty hunts, I invite people from my Discord. So it's a really great community if you guys want to come and be a part of it. So with that out of the way, let's get stuck right into this method. The first thing you want to do is find Madame Nazar. Her position actually changes every single day, so you will need to find her new position depending on what day you're doing this. I find the easiest way to find Madame Nazar is just to look on the Red Dead Online subreddit and usually the top voted post is usually always her new location. There's also a very simple trick a lot of players don't know and that's that if you complete any collector's map she's actually going to appear on your map as an icon so just complete any collector's map and you'll have the icon for Madame Nazar appear for you. Once you arrive at Madame Nazar you want to get everybody in your posse to all purchase every collector's map and you want to make sure you buy every single one, so the bird eggs, the flowers, just every single one, and you're all going to work together to find these collectibles. Now this is where good communication comes in handy, because what everybody in your posse wants to do is open up a different collector's map. If you open up the same collector's map, it's going to most likely give you the same locations, and it kind of defeats the purpose of doing it with other people. If everybody in your posse opens a different collector's map, so player one opens the birds, uh, player 2 opens the heirlooms and player 3 opens the flowers, you're all going to get different locations in the same area. And what you want to do is work together to collect the same collectibles and you basically complete everybody's um, collector's maps together and you do it a lot quicker than you would doing it solo. And it also means you don't have to purchase anywhere near the amount of maps you're actually using to complete this. Now the reason this works is because the collectibles actually have set locations around the map. So that means if one player has the flowers map and they go to collect the flowers, everybody else in the posse, even though they, don't, they aren't currently using the flowers map, they can still get that collectible. So as you'll see I'm doing with my group here, we just stayed in good communication and worked together to go to each one in the closest order. So I was, as the posse leader, I was making marks on the mini map and asking people what locations their treasure maps were in to make sure we were doing it in kind of the most efficient order. Once you reach level 5 and you unlock the metal detector, this method becomes even more efficient because between getting your collection maps, you can also bring out the metal detector and use that to find collectibles on the way between each stop. And this is one of the most efficient ways to level up as a collector because you're not only getting all the map locations, but you're also getting the coins and the arrowheads that you're going to be collecting on the way. If you guys didn't know already, the metal detectors do have fixed locations so if anybody in your group finds a hidden collectible with their metal detector, such as a coin or an arrowhead, be sure to let the rest of your group know and you can all go and collect it from that same location. And yeah, that's pretty much everything you guys need to know about this method for ranking up very fast as a collector. I'm also going to have a full guide over the next couple of days for the trader and also the collector. They're both going to be very detailed guides with probably at least 20 tips and tricks for each because they're such complex um, roles but hopefully those videos help you guys out also. If you did enjoy this video, please take a few seconds to leave it a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for all the latest Red Dead news and information. Have a good one guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.